Hello there, my name is Gunnar Clovis, I am a game developer, and continuing with Mad Pangolin Games, I want to play Combo Maker. Uh, so beat blocks into place and make chains. Not the best tagline, uh, but it's a puzzle game, really excited about that. Yeah, the other three have been platformer, strategy, and shooter, a lot of variation, and each one has been done so well, they're so professional and just really good. Uh, but these next two, Combo Maker and Richard Mortis, are puzzle games, so excited for that. I always love me a puzzle game. So again, really, really excellent game pages, like this nice background. Um, you know, ve yeah, very, okay, yeah, very Tetris-y, looks like Tetris, um, or a similar kind of game. And yeah, these great little blocks uh, forming the background, great color palette, and great logo. Look at, look at those fonts, like that just looked really nice. Combo Maker, made for the 41st Ludum Dare, Ludum Dare, I like Ludum Dare better, Ludum Dare Game Jam, for the combo portion, which is the uh, singles, I believe, uh, with the theme combined two incompatible genres, cool. So combo and puzzle games, I, I don't, eh, okay, yeah, match four beat em up platformer genres, yeah, I don't think combos is, is, <laughs> incompatible puzzle at all but yeah beat, beat him up in match four that does sound kind of incompatible um you know bog standard everything can be combined and make really cool uh game jam themes which is why combined two incompatible genres is like my favorite game jam theme actually <laughs> and a lot of a lot of jams use it which is really great so uh it's a mashup of match four beat em up platformer genres you can punch kick and throw blocks around to link them together Scoring points and setting up chains, but beware, monsters have entered the arena and are trying to stop you. How many points will you score? So a arcade game, um, really nice, made in Game Maker Studio. Very cool. Yep, love love me the paint.net. Um, average distance, only a few minutes. Awesome. Yeah, really, really cool. So try this out. Again, have to click through. I know it's really stupid and silly. Yeah, I, I just, I wish the game files were in this folder though when I unzip um, the downloadable EXE. So yeah, very Game Maker sound, extra life, Og, Combo Maker, nice icon, really cool. Here we go. All right. That music isn't really doing it for me, but it's good there's music there. Still can't maximize, still is not in full screen. Oh, but finally, oh my God, alt enter. Alt enter for full screen, hooray, ah. I'm so happy. Okay, was did the I don't know if those that were in the other three games, um, but they were not. No one told me that. Uh, but I'm so happy I can play in full screen, and I can toggle the music. That's awesome. R to restart, really good, and that's restarting the uh, the app, which is cool. So air keys to move, Z to jump, uh, X to attack and throw, and C to pick up. Really, really standard controls. Really nice. Okay, jump, attack, pick up. Oh, and, and I, I'm i already in control that the uh, main menu, I assume this, this is the main menu and this part will go away. Um, main menu is playable, which I really like. I've always been a huge fan of that. And so I'm, I'm required to figure out the controls just to start playing to, like the menu is its own little tutorial level, which is really cool. Okay, and it looks like I get two jumps, um, but also this game is doing something I love, and I was literally just talking about this with a another game developer friend of mine. Um, yeah, that see how I don't have to be on the ground to jump. It has, um, you know, we call coyote time when you run off the edge and you have a few seconds like there, that would be very coyote time acceptable. It's like a, uh, a split second I have when running off an edge that I can still jump, but uh, I feel like that it may be coyote time, but I feel like it just doesn't has, have that. Uh, we'll have to see. Um, but I've always been a huge fan of platformer design. One of my, my favorite games of my own. The, the game I've spent the most time working on by far, uh, and the longest game, is uh, That Seder game, which is I'm horrible at naming stuff. And yeah, that was <laughs> one of the games I've worked on longest. It has an awful, awful name. But in That Seder game, um, similarly, you don't have to... Okay, yeah, actually, I can I can test it here. All right, I am gonna have to spend a little bit more time learning controls here. Okay. 
All right, and my jump height seems to be reduced by holding a block, which is really cool. I didn't expect that. Um, yeah, I'm pretty. Sh I'm pretty. Oh, or well, maybe it's not. Or what? Wait, now, now it's. Yeah, like, look at the height I'm getting. But, okay, I am really not understanding what's happening with this. Um, all right, there were. I wasn't able to get over. All right, the jumps seem kind of weird to me. It has short hop. So the longer I hold, the higher I jump, um, and then I get a double jump, but the double jump is really short. Um, okay, I, it's hard to tell when you're going diagonally and everything, uh, but it was feeling like <laughs> I got the same total jump height possible, um, basically, or jump velocity possible. And so if I did a smaller first jump, I could have a longer second jump, but I don't think that's the case. It's just a really, really short second jump. I don't totally understand what's happening there. Um, but yeah, I am right in that, see, it doesn't matter if I'm on the ground or not. My first jump is my first jump, and then I get a second jump, which I really, really love that. Um, I think especially in... Um, Kind of puzzle platformer games. Um, I think it makes it makes it makes for fundamentally different platforming possibilities, which I really like. But I'm spending a lot of time on this. I apologize. So X to attack and throw, and I can brick those with. Okay, three hits, but those ones seem unbreakable. Two, three, two, th three, one, two, three. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Well, all right, so I want to pick, interesting, uh, those enemies are obnoxious. <laughs> all right, and how, hmm. Oh man, I was trying to jump on their heads, um, which just felt like a natural move. So I have no idea what the pwn block does. <laughs> um, I guess it's just a special green block. So maybe if I match it with the other, um, with a oh man, ah, okay, it's a level complete. I, uh, I'm not not getting a great hang of this. I don't think <laughs> All right, I just, that is really cool and satisfying to kill kill the uh, the enemies that way though <laughs> All right, so yeah that matches for just by them touching so I'm not making them oh man I'm not making like a row out of them yeah, I do really rather like these controls. It's very cool. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess that makes sense just because this is harder to control. Um, at least that's the idea. So yeah, those touch and it matches. Interesting. So I don't know about combos. I, I'm not really clear how any of that works. Oh, okay. And there's a little wizard guy who changes the color. Very cool. Yeah, so I just have a pretty basic natural strategy that I just want to <laughs> sort them all together. Oh, and then that guy scrambles them, which is, yeah, going to be kind of randomly to my advantage um, just as often, I feel. Yeah, like, all, that, all that's fine. <laughs> like, I don't even really want to change how they're dropping. I can move this. Um, so, yeah, the pwn block. What's going to happen there? Okay, yeah, killed when matched. It destroyed all the enemies. Yeah, so, again, the, the music is fine. It's serviceable. Uh, I, I don't really love it. Um, 
but it does its job. Uh, game does seem actually rather easy. There's a score system, but I, I don't really feel like I have a bead on how I would <laughs> be doing well and getting more score. Um, I I don't really know. Is it time based? Like, I don't really know. <laughs> I think I... Ah, uh, come on. Ah. Uh, think kind of obviously. I... I... Ah, uh, man. I want to avoid um, it stacking too high uh, a la Tetris. But I don't... I don't feel like I'm in real threat of that. Maybe because I'm just... I'm not playing that far. Um... Ah! I could not get the little wizard guy. I was trying to punch him. Although, yeah, obviously, I should just drop a block on him. I forgot. Yeah, so now, now stuff is getting a little out of hand. Um... Oh, but, the, but then, yeah, then the level clears um, once it decides the level is complete, which... Um, so level 5 next in 24. Ah, man. Oh, you land right there. Of course you do. Oh, and then you land right there. Of course you do. All right, these pieces are kind of being obnoxious in how they land, but that's fine. Ah, and yeah, I'm just need to jump high enough to make the things land. And actually, I just want to kill that guy. Ah. Oh. Yeah, the punching seems like it's the most interesting kind of way to manipulate the blocks um, with the most interesting kind of possible ramifications, but I, I don't know. I don't feel <laughs> smart enough or like I have enough time to do that. Um, so next in 24, was that really 24 matches or is it 24 of something else? Oh, right, I can throw the blocks, too. Ah. Yeah, I also... I don't know. The controls, they make they make sense, but they just don't feel supernatural for me. <laughs> um, I don't feel like I'm on any kind of path to memorizing them so I can consistently do what I want, especially... Yeah, I mean, I'm consistently doing what I want in just kind of... Oh, no. Um, there we go. And yeah, I haven't been destroying blocks. That might actually be a pretty good strategy. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it feels like no matter what I do, I'm just going to win. Um, I, I don't have a great read on what makes <laughs> what makes a score do, <laughs> do score stuff, <laughs> you know? Um, like, uh, what, what is a good action? Um, I guess, like, killing the enemies, but, like, why I could just kill them whenever, right? Um, I want to get this one out of the way. Mm. Yeah, moving, man. Moving around doing the basic actions just, just, it feels kind of awkward. Um. Which I don't know if I really want to blame on the game. Um, yeah, I don't know. Ah. Whoa, what? 
Try it, try it. Oh, oh, because it hit the top. Gotcha. Yeah, I was trying to destroy that block. All right, cool. Yeah, that was, that was really cute. Um, escape does not end the game. Pause is not doing anything. Uh, P for pause is, yeah. Yeah, it looks like I just have to alt F4, which also is not, it's not awesome. Um, never want to have to make <laughs> make your player alt F4, but uh, that was really cool. Yeah, definitely um, come over and download this game by uh, the Mad Pangolin. Um, yeah, really, really awesome. Published in 2018 uh, for, yeah, Mini Jam. No, this is from 40, Ludum Dare 41. Awesome. So thank you for watching. I hope it was fun or useful in some way. I uh, hope you're making games out there and, and continuing on your game dev journey. If you have any games you'd like me to play here on a for Jam, please drop me a link in the comments. I'd really love to hear from you. Uh, please remember to always be respectful to others. Uh, we are more we are more alike than we are different. And please love thy neighbor and try to leave the world a better place than you found it. Have a lovely day and goodbye.